types of galaxy collisions. What determines the kind of collision is what kind of galaxies are involved. So one type of collision is a merger. And in this case, what we're looking at are two galaxies of similar size. The picture here is an artist's impression of our future. This is the Andromeda Galaxy. And this is our view in the night sky of our own Milky Way. We are going to collide in about two or three billion years. We are similar in size. So when we collide, it will be a merger. Uh, this will result in an elliptical galaxy. So this is largely how elliptical galaxies are made. The other category is called cannibalism. And this is essentially when a large galaxy tears a small galaxy apart. So the large galaxy really doesn't get affected. It just, you know, incorporates the small galaxy into it. And we are doing that as well. Again, an artist's impression using computer graphics, but here's the Milky Way. And this is what we are doing to one of our satellite galaxies. And I honestly don't know whether this model is for the large or small Magellanic Cloud, so we'll just say Magellanic Cloud. But we are doing this to both. Uh, both the large and small Magellanic Clouds are little dwarf galaxies that orbit the Milky Way. And over time, all those stars that are part of that galaxy are going to get sucked into the Milky Way and become part of our own galaxy. There's evidence we've done this in the past. We find stars in our own Milky Way that don't quite fit in, and we realize that they have come from galaxies that we have eaten in the past. So, uh, both ways are going to uh, be counted as a collision. Uh, one destroys both galaxies, and in this case, cannibalism, only the small galaxy gets destroyed.